Ah! There's freaking eyeballs everywhere! Go away! Go away! I don't want you! Brian, help me! Ah! Oh! That's a, that's a fantastic start. But anyways, guys, welcome back. My name is Python, and this is the second episode of my new Calamity playthrough. Now, guys, thank you so much for the support you showed on the first episode, and indeed for the fact that, you know, this was a restart of the original Calamity series. I really do appreciate their kind words and supportive, uh, you know, the means that you guys have been providing me. It's really very much appreciated. So, guys, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, guys, at the time of this video going out, I am actually going to be at Insomnia 60, I-60 in the UK. Uh, I didn't really make any kind of announcement for it because I'm not actually like doing anything there. I'm just going as a visitor. So that's one of the things I'm doing on the weekend that I'm having off. So that's kind of cool, I guess. So yeah, guys, we need to go ahead and start getting back on with uh, getting some cool stuff going. And you know what? It's night time. I kind of want to try and find some fallen stars, okay? Now the reason why I want some fallen stars is because I want to try... I want to try my best to make the crystalline, okay? I really would like to try and make the crystalline. Uh, oh. Maybe not. It's just become daytime as evident by the change in background music. Fantastic. Okay, well, it looks like we're not doing that then, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Let us, uh, let us continue on, uh, folks. We are going to try to find ourselves some epic stuff today. Uh, let's go down here. In fact, no, what we need to do is go down that one there, because it goes down a bit further, huh? So, yeah, we're going to go down there. We're going to see if we can't find ourselves some awesome stuff. I would really like to try and find some, uh, some chests, guys. We need to, we need to get some freaking chests up in here, don't we? Okay, so, let's head down here. There's a little bit down here which we did not explore, so here we go. Uh, I can make that nice and easy. Okay, the bad news is I have a very limited amount of torches and a limited amount of resources So we're gonna need to be very very spare with our torch usage Which kind of sucks because I rather like to spam torches so I can see exactly what's going on around me You know what I'm saying? So yes, but anyways uh, look at this guys. This is a pretty decent start I'm right? gonna hold ourselves a whole bunch of gold and a little bit of silver here, which is kind of awesome. So, for those of you guys who don't know, in terms of the Marnite gear, which is, like I said in the last episode, requires marble and granite, it also requires a whole bunch of gold. So, me going ahead and getting this gold is actually very, very useful indeed. So, the more gold I get, the more Marnite stuff I'll be able to get. Now, for those of you guys who can't remember, you can get a Marnite rifle spear, which is essentially a gun that shoots pretty slowly. You also have the Marnite drill, which also acts as an axe, which is kind of awesome. So a pre-hard mode drill, which is kind of awesome. And then uh, moving on, we also have the Marnite Spear, which is, well, as you would expect it to be, a spear. So, yeah, I want to try and get the whole set because we had it in the last Calamity playthrough and it was very, very nice indeed. I definitely found that the drill and the spear especially were really, really nice. So it'll be kind of cool to get them back on us again, my friends. So let us see what kind of things we can do here. Is that diamond? No, it's not. It's emerald. If that was diamond, I'd be the happiest guy in the world because there seems to be exactly five emeralds. <laughs> Gosh darn it. It would have been cool if that was diamond instead, but... You can't have everything, can you, folks? You just can't have everything. I wish I could. It would be amazing. But that is called Cheat Sheet, and I don't want to do that. So, yeah. Alrighty. So, here we go. Let's head over here. There appears to be a little something, perhaps, going on just over this side, behind this uh, behind this here silt. Obviously, if we find ourselves a whole bunch of uh, silt, we'll pick it up, because, you know... Gosh darn it. It's worth going out and picking up, because, you know, you might be able to go out and extract it, get yourself some cool things from it. Who knows, there's maybe even some, uh, you, you know, things that I don't even know are in there from the Calamity mod. Maybe the Calamity mod has added some new stuff to, you know, extract or something. I don't know. I just don't know. But what I do know is I kind of want to get over to this right-hand side cave where that jellyfish is. I want to see what's going down, my friends. So, let's go ahead and uh, make our way over there, slowly but surely. Almost broken out into it. How many, uh, we've got four glow sticks. Okay, not a bad amount. Ooh! That looks like a, a plentiful amount of topaz. I'm kind of wanting to get that. I don't think there's 15 there. Although if there is, I'd be, uh, I'd be very, very surprised indeed. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, yep, that seems to be just about it, unfortunately. Uh, it would have been cool if I was 15, then I'd be able to make a hook, of course, which is, you know, kind of cool. Uh, hmm. Okay, so there's caves pretty much all over the place here, all over the shop. Uh, so you... Oh, jeez, man. Hey, buddy. Oh! No! Oh, you... What? Where did he come from? Okay! 
I don't know, but he just did like 70 something damage to me, man. That's craziness, man. That is absolute ridiculous craziness. Uh, oh, wow. That Oh, oh hey, there's a demon altar at the surface. Huh. That's kind of badass, actually. <laughs> Doesn't even we don't we don't even need to find one. We don't even need to we don't need to keep any that are in the, the in the underground corruption either. Huh. Oh no. The talk of the corruption. Oh no, we've got no way of getting back either. Alright, we're gonna need to be quick about this, guys. We need to be quick. We need to get the heck out of here. I have no recall potions. Oh my god. Dude, we have got ourselves a really bad world here. Like for real. We really, really do. This is a poor, poor world. So we've got no, like, proper cave systems. Not really, anyway. I mean, I could maybe go down here, see what's going on, but I haven't got very high hopes, man. I think we've got ourselves a bad world. Chippy, you, you, your bad luck and world gen is rubbed off on me, bro. What the heck? <laughs> oh, dear. Obviously, we, we completely joke about these things. I, I, I once watched one of his videos, and he's like, wait, Python has always got the good terrain gen. But nah, not this time, buddy. Not this time. I think your your bad world gen genes have rubbed off on me. <laughs> oh dear. Alrighty guys, well I'm gonna head back underground I guess. Alrighty guys, looks like we've come across the underground snow biome. Yeah, I can see some ice over there. Okay, so it's not the worst thing in the world. The enemies in this biome can be the worst thing in the world though. They can be just true buttheads. I don't I don't want to come across any, okay? Okay, Terraria, you might be giving me crappy world gem, but you're not going to give me a whole bunch of enemies that are going to kill me, yeah? Yes, yes, you're going to you're going to agree with me there, buddy? I hope so because uh yeah, I'm having a bit of an explore. Wow, that is a lot of slush. Holy poop. That's a lot of slush. I could probably pick that up and extract a whole bunch of it once it comes to that point. And then there's a whole bunch of silt here. Holy! This is like extractinator heaven right here, man. But uh, one thing I don't like is the fact there's nothing around here. There's, there's not even any ores. Look at it, man. This is such a desolate place. There's like nothing here. No houses, no heart crystals, nothing of any worth. Just absolute rubbish. This seed is awful, man. I don't even know what seed this is because I don't have that feature enabled. Oh! What the hell? Dude, are you kidding me, bro? Dude, this world is punishing me, man! What the hell? I had such a good start in my original Calamity playthrough, man. It's like Terraria's punishing me for it messing up and, and me messing up. Oh, this sucks, man. This seed really sucks. <laughs> oh, I'm almost tempted to start a new world, dudes. This is just awful. The spawn point is okay, but aside from that, it is just absolutely god-awful. There's nothing of any worth here. It sucks. All right. Right, let's see how long we can survive if we go in here, then. Right, I'm going to go ahead and I'll pick up as much cacti as I possibly can, okay? And we're going to pick some water leaf up as well. And what I want to do is I want to survive this, so I need to go ahead and uh, grab some of these bad boys. Uh, huh, come on, quickly, quickly. We don't want mobs to spawn in, okay? That is something we really do not want to have happen. Okay, so, oh, talking of which. Oh, there they are. D D D what in the hell, bro? Can you guys, like, all die, please? Okay, oh, what the... Dude, this is gonna take five years, man! Are you kidding me? Dude, this sucks! This world sucks! Oh my god! Come on, bro! Come on! Right, you're gonna... Right, fall down, fall down! Right, and, and now you're gonna get stuck, yes? Right, okay. Oh, for goodness sakes! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? This world, this world gen is actually, like, really punishing me right now. It's putting me through many trials and trips. I hate this world. I hate this world so goddamn much. I really freaking hate this world. Alright guys! So since our world quite frankly sucks a load of donkey butt, we are going to go ahead and make a house. Okay, right, this surely won't kill me right. I am tired of dying today, my friends. I have died more in this episode than I think I've ever done in any Terraria Let's Play I've ever done ever. 
Like, it, it really is quite frankly as bad as that. It really is. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit annoyed. <laughs> if you can't tell already. I just can't believe the amount we've died today, my friends. It's actually quite bad. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and just do a little basic house setup here. Just something basic. Nothing too interesting. I just want to get some peeps in, okay? So, one, two, three... Four. Right, okay, so that should pretty much do the job there. I need to go ahead and uh, pick that up. Let's get ourselves three more doors. Uh, three more doors. One, two, three. We can get ourselves four sets. Oh, dang it, I've got too many of them. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, let's start bringing some of these bad boys inside. Okay, if I can actually put them inside, that'd be fantastic. Okay, so we've got a furnace. Let's chuck you down there. We'll put this right here, and the chair can go... Uh, uh, I don't know, maybe the chair can actually go there? Can I put the crafting table underneath us? Oh, I can. Huh, fair enough. Alright, so let's have the anvil down there. Let's put a torch up there. We'll head up here real quick. Let's just chuck this down, this down, and this down. And of course, let's go ahead and get some of these here uh, tables in. And then some chairs. And then we'll pretty much be good to go, right? So, yeah. Although I might go ahead and put two two, chair, two chairs in this one. We'll make this one a two chair house, okay? Because I'm feeling like I'm feeling like giving these NPCs something quite nice. You know what I'm saying? All right, cool. Wow, we've got six torches. This is all we have, guys. This is the true extent of how rubbish our world is. We've barely got anything, bro. All right, now we've got these freaking jokers. Are you kidding me? All right. Oh, no, no. No, guide, why? Why would you do that, guide? Brian, Brian, don't do this to me, man. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. No. Right, you go. You go. Come on. You can go. You can go. Come on, Eyeball. Come on, Eyeball. You're going to die. You're going to die. You. You there. You can all die as well. And uh, you can get out the game. You, sir, can also get out the game. Come on, bro. Come on. There we go. Okay. They're all out the game. They're all dead. And now there's yet another demon eye around here. Dude, Brian, you have to be the most idiotic NPC I've ever come across. You open the door. You let them all in. Although, saying that, I kind of let, like, one in as well. So... You know, that was a thing, but, you know, shh, no one, no one saw that, okay? No one saw that. You guys didn't see that, I didn't see that, no one saw that, okay? We good, we good. Yes, yes, we good. <laughs> Alright, so guys, let's go ahead and continue on with this. We just want to get these uh, houses done. I am, I am salty. I am admittedly salty. Like, I, I don't think I've ever had such an awful world spawn. I mean, the spawn itself, with all the flatness, is actually pretty decent. Okay, it's a pretty decent spawn in that respect, but in terms of everything else, like finding loot, surface chests, finding entrances to cave systems, like good entrances to cave systems, this 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 world just doesn't have it, man. This world does not have it. Like this this game is actually punishing me for the mistake I made and having to restart the series as a result, you know? It's punishing me, man, I swear. I swear. Either that or Chippy's bad world gen genes have rubbed off of me, which also kind of sucks. <laughs> oh, man, I know how he feels now. I really do know how he feels. All right, boys, let's go ahead and uh, let's just do this real quick. There we go. We'll get this bottom section done as well. And ladies and gentlemen, that should be just about it, I think. Is this one counted? Housing is suitable. Not valid housing, suitable. What? Why? Why is that not... I'm not entirely sure what exactly the reason is. Okay, what if I do that? Would it now be suitable? Ah, that's really strange. Okay, can I do that? Okay, so I can now walk up and down this thing properly. Will this still be counted? Yes. Suited. Or, uh, suited. Suited. Okay, cool. They're all good to go, folks. We now have four NPC houses. We can now get ourselves the merchant to spawn in at some point. We don't have 50 silver coins yet, which kind of sucks. <laughs> Oh, this world is punishing us so much. Alright, so, I'm gonna go ahead and start organizing my inventory. We're gonna put, like, blocks and generic crap in here. And, uh, I guess put some valuables inside this one, like I already kind of have been. Yeah, sounds legit, doesn't it? Alright, let's go put this chest down over here. And let's put some stuff in here. So, all of this stuff here. Uh, bombs. Yeah, they might come in useful. I might go ahead and use them. Uh, iron ore. Silver, all of this stuff. Gold ore. I mean, I could potentially go ahead and get myself a gold broadsword, but I don't think that would be a worthy thing to do, in all honesty. So, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just, like, just chuck all this stuff in here, I guess. Yeah, sounds good. All right, and you can go in there. All of you lot can go in there. The ropes are going to come in useful. We'll keep them out. And, yes. Aside from that, everything else is 
pretty darn useful to our cause. Okay, sweet. All right, guys, I think what I'm going to do, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think what I'm going to do is just wait for daytime to roll around. Then we can go ahead and explore again, maybe. I don't know. This, this episode has just been poor. <laughs> I'm, I'm very much aware of that, folks, and I hate it so much. Oh, man. Oh, this is one of the this is one of the bad things about being a Terraria YouTuber. Like, uh, I feel like if I cut out too much, then you guys won't know what's been going on. But then if I don't cut out, then a lot of you guys are probably going to say that you're concerned about the speed of the series or something like that, you know. So, I don't know. There's a very fine line between not cutting stuff out and then cutting stuff out, you know. So, yeah. Alrighty. Well, uh, I could maybe head underground again to see what I could find, but... I, I haven't got great hopes. I haven't got great hopes. We don't even have 50 silver coins yet, folks. That's how badly we're doing. Okay, do you know what I'm going to do just so I don't wind up dying with my money again? I'm going to start storing it in the chest, okay? Seems like a good idea, doesn't it? Aha! Well, a little bit of a silver lining from this knight. Look at this. We've got four fallen stars. So combine that with the knives, we have two out of three of the materials for the crystalline, okay? So now, literally, all we need is the diamonds. Hopefully, that won't be too difficult, right? I'm really hoping that's got, not going to be too difficult anyway. <laughs> oh, you never know. You never know, folks. There we go. 21 silver coins is now the amount we're at. Okay, sweet. We're going to head back underground. We're going to see if we can't find some diamonds, folks. Wait, what the heck is this stuff? Hey, guys, check it out. We've got an ore. I don't know what this is. I actually genuinely don't know what this ore is. Huh, I can't mine it yet, rather similar to the area light, so... Huh, unidentified ore. Interesting. Okay, well, at least we're finding some new stuff, guys. Kind of cool, right? Uh, so one of the things... I think... What was that Everfella thingy? Everfella... Uh... Axe thing. What was it? Oh, I'll need to check it out real quick. Uh... Ever... Ah, oh, there we go. Fella of Evergreens. So, yeah, requires tungsten. And, oh, or silver. Okay, so silver axe plus silver bars. Okay, so once again, this thing can be used to make some pretty ridiculous stuff, you know, later down the line. D do you mind? Do you mind? I'm trying to do stuff here. I'm trying to I'm trying to talk to my peeps about stuff I can make. Worm. Hey! Come on, man. Don't be so rude to me, dude. Come on, bro. Come on, man. You wanna, you were gonna take me out, then at least make a goddamn effort to do so, you freaking idiot. Well, guys, if you can't find yourself topaz by digging it, then uh, you can just kill these guys. Hey, we've got another two. Okay, so we've got four topaz now. So how many topaz did we get before? Was it ten? If so, then we're literally one off being able to make a hook, and that's a little bit annoying, actually. <laughs> uh, gosh darn it. Well, it's still pretty cool that we can kill those little dudes and get gems from them, though. That's awesome. And the tomb crawler got me again. And the, oh, wait, there's a storm line down there. Oh, man, I wouldn't mind taking him down. Then I could get a desert scourge summoner. Ugh, man. This is this has been a death-filled episode, huh? <laughs> my, my faith in myself and being able to survive is just going down the swanny down. <gasps> Guys, check it out. I just had a bit of a look, and it turns out we actually do have enough topaz to make ourselves a hook. It's... Not the best hook in the world, but it is still a hook. There we go. All right, guys, we finally got ourselves a bit of movement equipment. I'm feeling pretty okay with that. But like I said, still trying to go for the fella of Evergreen. So let's keep going, folks. Alrighty, guys, I found myself quite a hefty amount of silver. We've got 35-ish. And I just got rid of a boulder trap. So ha <laughs> you can't get me like that, sunshine. All right, and... Uh, yeah. There's uh, some slimes up there. Looks like another cave system, perhaps. But uh, I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't be greedy and just get the heck out of here while I'm still alive, huh? Although maybe a little bit more gel is always useful, you know? Oh! As long as I don't get overwhelmed. There we go. Okay, good stuff. So, are there any heart crystals? Come on, man. We've got to, we've got to have some sort of redemption. No? Gosh darn it. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, I'm just going to go and break these pots real quick, and then we'll head back to base. We'll get this fella of evergreens created, by folks. Come on, please. Cosmic Elemental. you got to give me something. you gotta, you got to give me a bone, dude. Come on. Come on, bro. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. You're such a wuss. Come on, man. Go really? Really? Is this what, is it what you're going to do to me? Huh? Is this what you're going to do to me? Go on. Go on. I I'm going to take you out the game. Oh, you're going to go in the water now, are right? you? Yeah, having a bit of a swim, huh? All right. Uh, and nothing. <laughs> Oh. And 
here we are, folks. We have 48 silver ore. Ladies and gentlemen, this should be enough to get ourselves all the things that we need. So here we go. Let's grab some of this. And let's use the anvil to create ourselves a silver axe. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we should be able to make ourselves the fella of evergreens. There it is. There we go. Nice and quick. Awesome. So 75% axe power. Look at that. 40% more than this one has. That's crazy. Not only that, but it does a nice amount of damage. Oh, look at this. 14. Yeah, look at that. This is what I needed, folks. Just, just something that could take down enemies pretty darn quickly. <laughs> Alright, let's remind ourselves what we can do with this thing. Uh, wait, what? Fellow of Evergreens. You used to be able to... Wait, hang on a minute. It says it's a material, but you used to be able to make yourself some sort of ridiculously OP, like, Moon Lord style axe, but now, no? Doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Huh, maybe the update changed that. Alrighty, guys. Well, anyways, I think on that note, it is going to be time to end this episode. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, despite the, the badness that it was, I do apologize. Like, there's not much I can do about it, apart from be better at the game. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it kind of doesn't help that the world's kind of not throwing me any bones, huh? <laughs> Uh, but anyways, if you enjoyed the episode, be sure to drop a like rating, hit that subscribe button as well if you don't want to miss out on future content. And for now, my friends, it is time for me to off. Thank you very, very much for watching. I appreciate your continued support very much so. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.